Hey, what is going on, everyone? You are joining us for the 30th annual Tahoe Pro-Am presented by MVP Discs. We are at Bijou Disc Golf Course in South Lake Tahoe. My name is Spanky Edwards, and I am joined by my good buddy, Toucan Dan Turner. What's up, guys? Pleasure to be here. Thanks to the Premium Disc Golf for bringing us out and watching a little disc golf. This is a three-round tournament, uh, 27 holes each round. Here we go, Dylan Quintana, 961 rated, playing out of South Lake Tahoe. Lance Hoagland, also out of South Lake Tahoe, 938 rated. Nate Tutalman, 971 rated. <laughs> nice, Nate. I like to stand up. Oh, look at that. Dan Turner, 964 <laughs> rated. Thumbs up. And Will Ling, playing out of Reno, 1003 rated. No stranger to the lead card or feature card here on Premium Disc Golf. Nothing like a little five-pack disc golf for tournaments. Yeah, Dan, I'm very excited to see this one. This is obviously for our sure. home course. Live about four minutes from here, so yep. we are here a lot. Here we go, hole one, 254. Uh, there's a, Dylan's going to show you the forehand line up the left side. There's also a almost mirrored line on the other side. Nice shot, Dill. And then a lot of guys will go up the middle, maybe putter or mid-range. Are we playing the A position today or B position? Uh, the A. Little turned over for Lance there. Lance is a good player. Been playing tournaments for a number of years. Good forehand, good backhand, good putter. Yeah, absolutely. The There's forehand Nate, from Lance. Also reaching forehand here on one. Now you can see by the uh, the tape there uh, marking off the course, it's a little bit breezier this day, I feel like, than I'm used to playing Bijou. Uh, yeah, we're about to see the lefty forehand from Dan, which is going to be what we're seeing most of the tournament from you. Obviously, once in a while, you bust out that righty backhand, but strong Every lefty forehand. Then. Got a lot of eagles. Now, we're not going to see a lot of tree hits from Will, but we are going to see a lot of lefty, righty, lefty, righty, think, backhand, I, forehand. Yeah, if I remember correctly, he called a tree hit on this hole. <laughs> Is that correct? Yeah, we're like, all right. I'm not sure if he called that one or not. Okay, that's an unusual start for, for Will. You guys thought I was going to hit the other tree again, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the whole one's the sneaky one. You, you always feel like you're definitely going to get the birdie on it, and then a four happens, and you go, okay, well, <laughs> on to the next one. I can't believe that happened. For sure. Nice pod. Nice. After two bad shots, I was pretty grateful that one went in. You know, that's one of those confidence boosters for sure. You're thinking, oh, I can't believe I'm about to take the bogey on the first hole. And Dylan, oh. nice bird. Great putt. Great putt. His putt has come a long way, too, in the past couple of years. No, this season especially, I feel like he's just, you know, something's clicked and he's banging. It almost doesn't even look like a different putt than before, but it, they all go in now. <laughs> by Nate. Lance cleaning up his par. So two birds, two pars, and a bogue. Hole two, 220. It's the A position. A lot of guys like this right-hand forehand shot, maybe on the inside, just like that. Nice play, Dill. Yeah, maybe you caught some cabbage, but he should have a putt. You really want to almost hit those two tall trees that they come just inside of. Nate's looking like the outside line, which is great because it pretty much sets up a routine inside the circle putt every time. Yeah, the outside line's a little bit safer. You just got to throw it a little higher so it has time to fall back to the basket. But like you said, you, you get in there 25 feet uh, with some good regularity, I think. Like almost every time you're going to be in the circle, whereas the inside line, you, you chance the ace, but you also chance the tree hit, leaving yourself anywhere from 40 to 100. <laughs> shot by Lance. Wow, it seemed, yeah, seemed uh, early, and it looks like you're going to be in the circle. Yeah, it's a little inside. I've got a putt. A 
I wonder how many tournaments will have started out like lefty backhand, lefty backhand before. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a fun stat to find out. I mean, he's so good at it now, it doesn't really matter, I guess. But it just seems strange to the rest of the disc golf world. Was that just inside? Um, or are you out there? I think it was right around circles. That okay. tree was between me and the basket pretty good, though. I had to kind of try and drop it in. There you go, Will. Way to bounce right back. Good birdie. And struggles on one and right back to the bird on two. Yeah, even through two is not the worst. Yeah, Not the worst. Oh, well, you're two strokes behind this guy. <laughs> That's a nice start. And this guy. Yeah, obviously this is the home course for a lot of us, but definitely for Dylan and Nate. They play here almost every day, so hopefully we see some. Oh, wow, what a park job. Nice birdie, Lance. All right. Hold Hole number three, 288 feet. It's the B position. Pretty good right to left shot here. Oh, did that glance off that tree? It sure did. Wow, that's amazing tree direct right there. That's not the line you want to hit, but you want to be just left or just right of those two trees, something stabling up just around them. which makes this somewhat easy shot actually kind of difficult. Yeah, it's not really like a pure hyzer play is what gives it gives people a little bit of trouble. You want to push it like straight through the gap yeah. and then like let the disc work left for you. Yeah, and all hyzer is going to come up a little short of the intended mm -hmm. zone. Oh, so the first four guys all hit the same two trees. I'm licking my chops here. <laughs> I believe it. Just don't hit those two trees on the right. Oh, you forecast are you <laughs> i can't help it well, hopefully we see an amazing upshot uh, i call that close to amazing <laughs> it looked like an all right move i came up a little bit short a little shorter than maybe that bush is a little bit shorter than it looks on video lance from about 80 or 90 putting it up close nice shot yeah, this green's a little precarious. It, the, the rocks can help and catch you, but it's very easy to slide right off of them, and then you're like, all of a sudden, you're 10 feet below the basket right. and long. This is where Dylan's drive ended up, even though he hit the tree right off the top band. And yeah, you imagine if... So now you're going to be looking at that below the basket uphill putt. We forecasted that one. Mark it a bogey. All right. Nice comeback, though. That's a hard putt to come back from. You're already kind of down on yourself, and then you just left yourself this annoyingly uphill putt. That's going to take your time. Go through your routine. <laughs> Love Lance, so vocal. Such a positive guy. Everybody cleaning up their pars except me. Hole four, par three, three thirty-one. So, oh yeah, okay. So this is the A position here. This is definitely the. Well, the easiest of the par threes on this hole. Then the, some of the par fours become easier. But this par three is right there in front of these guys. I think forehand, backhand, all great options. Yeah, whatever your best shot is, you can just go ahead and throw it here, I would say. Yeah, no specific tunnel. And there's, there's entries from both sides. So there's not like the forehand's going to get blocked or the backhand's going to get blocked. Lance, pump one out there nicely on Heiser, working back. That's my preferred play right there. 12 feet from the basket? Yeah. You like that? Well, I'd rather be eight, but... Everybody's different. <laughs> Here's Will, pretty much throwing the same shot as Lance did. Maybe caught a late tree, but he's down there. I played the same line as those guys. Just using a different hand. Right. Definitely needed that to be lower and straighter. Yeah, maybe a little, little early release.
Oh, good close bid. Dylan shot looked great from the tee, but he's kind of back here in a funny spot, obviously, by his stance. Pretty good effort from there, though. Yeah, I didn't expect him to be that long. I thought that he was yeah. going to be kind of right up underneath it. I think we all thought that when we got up there, we're like, oh, damn. Great birdie. Like I said, it's right there in front of you, but as you can see, it's just tricky enough once you get up to the green and hitting that distance perfectly. Good Lance. Great birdie. Typical round of Bijou. If you're two down through the first four, are you happy? Uh, me, personally, it's not too bad. I'd never get hole two. And uh, three in the long is a little bit tricky, but yeah, I, I, I want to get one and four. Okay, yep. I think every time we walk up to hole one, we think, I'm going to black out the nine. The front nine is mine. And then it doesn't happen, and <laughs> you go, oh. <laughs> Try again tomorrow. Right. And we've definitely buried them all before. Hole five, par three, 369. This one is a little more uphill than the camera shows. Looks like a really nice drive from Lance. Um, yeah, it's definitely playing a little longer than 369, but it's also a very reachable hole for especially every guy on this card. So, so far, two, the first two looked a little short. I think Dylan's definitely got the forehand power to get it all the way there. Let's see if he can get around that. Oh, he's going the flex line on the right. I kind of thought he was going upside. It's a good shot down there for a putt. Yeah. I thought with the forehand he would take the left side to try to skip to it, but I think he's trusting that putt more these days. So. Nate with a nice pull here. Either side of that tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Okay, didn't destroy the flight. And got a skip at the end. Yeah, nice. I was worried you were hitting, going right into that first tree. Oh, was that right around the backside of it? That was a good up shot. Here's where Lance got to. Maybe closer to 50 feet. Just a little low. Will pin high about 40 two feet I would say I know he's outside for sure wow nice putt Will watch out when you get him going if you've seen any of our videos you're pretty accustomed <laughs> to seeing that happen pretty used to those putters going in for him Dylan pin high for birdie nice wow. shot wow closer than I would thought I thought he was going to skip a little further to the right mm -hmm. his forehand's unbelievable Wow, this is your drive? That's where I got to. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that when I saw it almost at that first tree. That's an incredible birdie. Almost I a no-brainer. I don't really think of myself as a very nervous person, but whenever I start a tournament, I feel like I'm nervous until I get my first birdie, and then I'm like, oh, wait, I can do it. Like, you know, I don't know what it is about tournament golf, but it is just another animal. Yeah, trust me. <laughs> My best ever finish is a <laughs> seventh. It gets me, yeah. I just get, I get worked up and... Hole six, B position, 351. Yeah. I don't know if you can yeah. see the basket or not, but that was pretty much... Oh, there it is on the right. Yeah. That, that got really close. Looks like it skipped right through those last two guardian trees. Dylan again with that. Power forehand. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Going Thunderbird here. I, you do take that line over there. Yeah, play, especially when the wind's up, I could like to keep the disc a little bit more, a little bit more hyzer. That one kind of floated right. Did you guys have a pretty good, like, heady left to right on this one? Yeah, nothing too crazy. It was early in the morning, but. I know we had tossed a little bit of wind on one, but the flag looks pretty calm out there, so I wasn't sure how consistent the wind was for you guys yeah well Tahoe golf like i feel like most days are pretty mild but when it's windy it's windy yeah oh, good bid a 
Nate with a little stepper just offline. Good height. Good par. Humble there on the putter pickup. Yeah. His Lance's drive. Nice birdie. Yeah, this is another one of those pins where you know you can get it, but it just ends up being tricky. It's it's gotta be the perfect flex. Just drifting this way and just hooking up back in time. Will got really close. <laughs> Most really close to spitting out there. And here's still right on the other side, twelve feet. Start for Dylan. Four of six. Three birdies, two pars. Is that right? Hole seven, par three, two thirteen. Definitely a little chip shot, but also a lot of trees in the way. Very specific lines that you have to hit. Yeah, if you go just to the right of that tree, that will hit, and the disc just if you're throwing something kind of stable, will just fall right to the basket. That's the line I prefer. Yes, that's what I throw every time. But clearly, there's. This line, the you know, the putter flip. You, yeah, I see all kinds of shots in this hole. That, that the putter turnover, putter straight at it. People throw thumbers up the left side. There's the forehand kind of like overstable mid right at it, and so many different ways to attack this one. Lance sure. gets up there just outside the circle, if not in. I'm going for a high overstable disc, and a little too high. That was a zone. I think Nate hit the line pretty good there. Do you know these guys' bags pretty well? Do you have any idea what they're throwing on these shots? Nah, I'm too usually generally too focused on <laughs> what I'm trying to do. Fair enough. But if you want to know my frisbees, I'll tell you. Well, I know most of yours. Yeah, I putt with the Yeti. <laughs> putt and approach and throw the Yeti. EBR. Oh, man, that was, I would say, uncharacteristically low for him. Nate... Just missed left side there from the back of the circle. Right. Here's Dylan's putter shot. Nice birdie. That's funny, he's the only one that took that line and you can see how effective it is, but it is a very specific, you have to hit it dead straight, otherwise you're gonna be short by almost the entire hole, so. Yeah, it's definitely like more of a golf shot. You know, you gotta shape the disc instead of just like hit one gap and let the disc work. Oh, a little fake out there. Gotta keep him guessing, Spanky. <laughs> Are you at this point in the round feeling a little bit like we gotta get the ball rolling? Or I mean, I know there's plenty of golf left, sure. but um, I'm less than thrilled for sure. Okay, so we're just. I don't think we missed out on too much there. No. But uh, right into the up shots. That is. Okay, so that's going to be... That was Dylan's third. So that is going to be a bogey for Dill if he can make this that putt. This is my second. Oh. It always looks so good from deep. I was watching it, so I was like, maybe, but... I can, like... Okay, so far... Nobody got too close. Mm -hmm. Here's my comebacker for par. Nice, good par putt. Yeah, when you're having kind of a flat round to start like this, those those 27 foot. Whoa. There's Will for birdie, all right. Catch. Those comebackers for par get a little bit extra nervy when you're not already doing all right. You're like, oh gosh, I don't want a bogey. Yeah, you haven't you haven't made four of those for birdie yet, and so now they've all been for mm -hmm. par. And... Going with the bogey. Tough bogey on eight. Definitely not a hole you want to take the four on, but it happens. He's not thrilled, but at least he's got a little bit of padding there. Some of those birdies. Do you remember? Did he go with the straight at it approach like he did on seven, or did he take the hydro line? It's all right if you don't remember. Mm. Just curious. Because I like, again, that straight at it approach good can really take you up short. I think he did go up the middle. Hole nine, par three, two ninety two. This is yeah the A position here. I think we're gonna see definitely a lot of you know a lot of mids. I don't. I throw I throw my buzz at it. I hope for just a 
gentle late finish, slide underneath it. Lance pretty much parked it. Will was on what looked like an ace run, but he caught some a late tree, but I think he's close by. This is a drone from me. A little early. Just trying to throw it out of bounds. Does it stay in? Yes. Spoiler alert. There is also a forehand line on the left side. Yeah, I see some guys throw it. Ooh, oh, whoa. Whoa, Nate. Attacking. I just think the forehand line Dylan's going to show you here. It just If you hit a tree, it's just easy to careen out of bounds. Yeah. But if you hit this and get the flare that he's open for, okay, so it's that's, definitely there. That's the edge of the circle there, so he's still up there. I definitely think if even most guys, if you have the forehand and the backhand, are going with the backhand. Whereas if you're as confident as Dylan with the forehand, mm -hmm. that may be a issue line. For sure. Oh, no. I actually hate birdies. Oh, no. <laughs> Good putt by Nate. Solid birdie. Yeah, Will was on the ace line, and he just hit that last tree, maybe. Sure, yeah. It was, looked like he was going right at it. Mm -hmm. Here he is from 19 feet. Another birdie. Good front nine from Will. It's, even though he started out with a bogey, still comes out five down. Anytime I'm five on the front nine, I'm feeling good. Yeah, I, it's, it's we solid. always want all nine, yeah. but I think getting five out of nine on yeah. the front is good. Lance also clean, bogey free, uh, five down the front. You feel like you bet you put better with the bag on? No. <laughs> <laughs> I almost always take it off unless it's basically within arm's reach. All I right, will guys. say, I don't think I've missed a bag on putt in a long time, so I usually just reserve them for the close ones. <laughs> Must mean you're close. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, that was the front nine here at the 30th Annual Tau Pro-Am. Uh, what do we got? We got uh, Lance and Will, five under. Lance bogey-free, looking really good there. And uh, Dan, I'm looking forward to the next 18. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see what Even you can do on the back. Definitely disappointing, but uh, lots of golf left. Not too worried. Yeah. Well, okay. guys, uh, thanks for joining us. And uh, check in on the middle nine, uh, which will be coming up right after this. Yeah, looking forward to watching. Thanks so much.